Hi friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing tonight? I am coming to you from my parents' house. <laughs> I am visiting my parents in Florida. Yes, I went toward the hurricane. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my mom had knee replacement surgery. So welcome to my channel. I'm here in Florida. As I was packing, I had signed up this week for, or this past week, for a Dear, Dear Julie Julie's uh, September Stash Buster Challenge. And I thought, wow, I'm going to be away from, uh, you know, my home a whole week in September. That's a whole week that I can't work on this challenge or anything else. And I really like to bring something along to, to work on when I'm away from home. So I was trying to figure out what to bring. So I looked over on my desk and I saw my overwhelming pile of scraps. <laughs> And being that this is a stash buster challenge, I figured maybe it can also be a scrap buster challenge for me. So grabbed all of my scraps. So here's what I've got left after one day of crafting. I got here, uh, today's Monday, I got here last night. So from last night I didn't work on anything because, you know, I just got here getting together with my family and stuff. So one day of crafting, this is what I have left. So I've used some today. So let me move this out of the way so you don't have to look at that. But I was gonna show you next. This is my, I guess you can call it my my kit or my, um, you know, Ju Dear Julie Julie said to show your kit. So this is my kit for this week. So I have Memory Dex Rolodex Punch have a Reader's Digest. I have an envelope punch board. Let me see if I can go through these things here really quick. It's kind of uh, about 9.30 at night here and everyone's gone to bed except for me. <laughs> so I'm in here trying to do a little video. I got my paper punch or my paper cutter I should say. Got my corner rounder, my scissors all from my house my flower punch which is like about a two inch flower punch my two inch circle punch this flower and this flower okay Move those out of the way I've got some Halloween ribbon I've got these two packages I've got I brought all of these index cards that I had cut in half to make probably journaling cards so all of that stack there I brought this envelope and I threw, it's a like a zipper pouch, I threw in here the fall leaves that I had got from Dollar Tree and this package of die cuts that I got from Tuesday morning. I threw in here the stickers, those foam stickers and the washi that I got from, from Dollar Tree and this package, little package here, the storage package came from Dollar Tree those two things. I didn't want to run out of glue so I brought this <laughs> and this <laughs> and my Fabri-Tac. So I've got that to work with. Hopefully I won't run out of glue, right? <laughs> Let me get that out of the way. What else did I bring? I think that's it. I think you've seen everything. Okay, so what I worked on today, I had a lot of fun punching and punching and punching today. <laughs> these are papers are all from my scraps. And these are my mom's bowls I borrowed today to corral my, my punches. So I punched out all of these. Well, let me start this one in the middle. All these pretty flowers. They're that, they're this from this punch. Okay, all those little pretty, all from my scraps. Aren't they pretty? So this, I can make clusters or use them on, you know, decorations on a page or whatever. I use these a lot. Or I put them in, a, I throw some in a goodie bag too for, you know, that I put with my journals when I sell a journal in my Etsy shop. And I made all of these, which is from this punch. I, get, I got all of these punches right here that you just saw, except for the, the Rolodex punch. I got them all on Amazon. These pretty little flowers. There's a bunch there. <laughs> this took a good while, believe me. I have no idea how many are there, but there is a lot. 
So yeah, all of those. And these, I really needed some of these big ones, but I punched a bunch out here. Probably can't tell really how many is in here, but these are all from my scraps. So pretty, so pretty all different colors. I just love these flowers. Love working with them and making little, uh, you know, puffy flowers and kind of flat flowers and collages and clusters. So I did all of those today. I did, you can tell we were around the house today, so my mom couldn't do anything. So we were, we got to do, get together with dinner. Everybody came over last night and we didn't do anything today because my mom had needed, needed to rest. She just came home from the hospital Saturday. So fresh new knee with a fresh new knee. So these are a little like, this could be anything. It could be the front of a journal. That was pretty cute. This color combination, authentic. This was in my, this is all from my scrap pile. I'll just run through these really quick. Tag, little corner, like tuck spots. And these can be journaling cards or pockets, you know, like that. Little clusters, pocket. I, I was thinking these would, would be future pockets. And I put my, I made some clusters and then put them, glued them on there. This is a tag. This was just a, this is covered with, um, tissue from a pattern and I just cut it into a tag, tag shape. This was a manila folder. I cut a tag, you know, I cut a lot of the little scraps into tag shapes today. This was originally a file folder. Made the, all of these tags. Clusters here with some of the flowers and, you know, other little torn pieces. Flowers. Uh, these are just little you know, these have about well, three pieces glued together to make little clusters or decorations. Some more clusters. And more little clusters. And it's like a little booklet. Little journaling spot. And another tag covered with tissue, you know, uh, pattern tissue. And this is a the first layer, so I tore these pieces. These are ready to, ready to cluster. <laughs> All those right there. Just some pieces I cut out that I had thrown in my, my scraps that you know were, cut up, cut out, cut outs. And so I cut it out. <laughs> another little corner tuck. Another little booklet. It can be a journaling spot. And these are two layer clusters ready to. Layer, do some more layers on these, but these are all two layers. So I had divided them into piles. One layer, you know, ready for more. I mean, two layers ready, ready for more. One layer ready for more right here. So trying to keep everything organized. So you've seen everything I did today, except this pile over here. Got one more pile. Now this was a little pile that I worked on this evening. Made some more little tags out of file folder, mini, little mini tags, all kinds of sizes of tags here. I like making tags, can you tell? <laughs> tags, tags, tags. All of these are tags. Yeah, all of these are tags. And I made some journaling cards. This was in my scrap. I haven't done anything with it, but I'm saving it to make like a little booklet. Tags, now these are journaling cards. I'm calling these journaling cards for the moment. They may be uh, something else later, but uh, these were laminated pieces that I had made, and I had made them for a planner, and then I decided I didn't want them in a planner, so I cut them up into laminated journaling cards, or they could be bookmarks, possibly, or even pockets. Uh, these are journaling cards uh, waiting to be decorated, but they're all different sizes, just from my scraps. All of these, this is from a guest check. More little journaling cards, you can see. Here's a little tiny one. This is, uh, this was in there, and I made it to be like maybe a future journal cover because I like the size. And this is the side of the file, the folder. I thought that was cool, you know, the little uh, scored lines. And then I rounded the corners 
So that's ready to do something with. This was in my scraps. I haven't done anything with it. I was going to cut it up and I thought, you know, these pages would be perfect size. I didn't measure it, but and they might have to be cut a little bit, but might be the perfect size for a traveler's notebook. These I did cut out of a Daphne's Diary magazine. With some little birds and some little flowers. These are stickers from a Daphne's Diary magazine. And this is what I made. This is the last of what I did tonight. I just didn't feel like working with scraps anymore, so I tore apart my Daphne's Diary magazine and made one, two, three, four, five, six journals. Don't ask me what I'm going to do with them because I know we're not allowed to sell them in our Etsy shop. Whatever. <laughs> right? I mean, I ordered a whole year of Daphne's Diary. Then, then supposedly we can't sell them, so whatever. But anyway, I made some journals anyway, so I had fun. So um, I picked out, first of all, I went through the magazine and picked out all the pages that I wanted to be covers. So that's where I'm at. I think I want all these pages to be covers. This was a little punch out or whatever in the magazine. And there was something here I wanted to cover up. So this I cut out and I'm going to glue that there and, and I'm going to glue this here. I think that's really pretty. See how pretty that page is? And so I'm not going to be able to finish these here. I didn't bring my, you know, anything to bind it with. And I didn't bring uh, any more, anything else to use for pages. But I've got these ready to go. So let me just move this because I don't want that's kind of delicate in the arms and legs and stuff. So I don't want that to get messed up. And let me move these out of the way. I'm talking a little quiet because everyone's asleep but me. <laughs> It's nine, it was 9.30, I think, when everybody decided to go to bed. So I said, well, okay, I'll just come in here and make a little video. But I'll just flip through these real quick so you can see. I uh, decided this would be a cover. And then when I get home, I'll find some pretty scrapbook paper to put here. And then these are the pages so far in this one. And then I'll add, add pages to this and, you know, decorations and whatever, pockets, tuck spots, whatever I decided you know, trims and ephemera, all that. So I'm going to make these into journals. So that's one. Oh, I've got, I used a little shorter piece in this one. Let me show you that real quick. But I made sure there was a, where is it? This right here was a little booklet in the magazine. So I put that right there. And I made sure to put a real pretty page right in the middle. This will be a mi the middle page for sure. So that's the first one. Still working on that. This is the second one. I like this. I love these pages here. They're so colorful. And then here's the pages in this one so far. I hope this is coming through on the camera okay because I'm not used to this spot, you know. I'm not at home. I'm not at my regular spot. So here is the middle page in this one. Really pretty. And here's one of the shorter pages from that little... A journal you're supposed to make into a little pages you're supposed to make into a journal this was a coloring page or some kind of craft page uh, I, my original thing was I was going to cut maybe fussy cut stuff out of here and I just started making journals <laughs> I just wanted to do something different I guess I was cutting all day and I wanted to do something different so this is what happened I like this for a little cover I like the postage related thing here and this little bear riding the motor motorcycle. I thought that was super cute. And I might put some kind of decoration on up here, but I just thought it was, there's one on the back too. Isn't that cute, a little bunny? So, uh, yeah. And then here in the inside, I might line this with something too, but I like the border, so we'll see. I could leave the border and just put something in you know, a little bit to cover this up. And then I have these pages. Here's one of the little pages here in this one. And the way I did it was I did the cover. I'll show you in a second. But I did, I pulled off the, the front cover and the back cover first. And I said, of course, I want these to be covers. And then I went through the whole book. Here's the back of this one. It has a bunny on the back of this one. And I, oh, I showed you that one. Here's the other one. The mouse on this one and the chick on the back or the duck little duckling flowers so 
So those are really super cute. I think I showed you that one twice, sorry. I'm just blabbing away. Here's a coloring page. But yeah, I, I pulled off the front and back cover. Isn't that pretty? Little page in this one. There's a short page and a coloring page. So yeah, that's the third one. That's three, right? Or is that four? That's four. So I've got two more. I've got six all together. So this is the front and back cover. I pulled those off first and put the most pages in these and then the rest of it I made into those other four. So like here's the front cover. Super pretty, of course. They're all pretty. And then here's the inside of the front cover. And then I put, you know, I kind of pulled out my favorite, kind of pick favorite pages pages for these, but not try not to put all my favorite pages in these. But I used every page. I did fussy cut out two pages that I had when I was trying to fussy cut and then decided to start then I decided to start working on journals so but uh just had a lot of fun making these you can see they're really pretty this one has a pretty bird here and this pretty little flower down here that's why I made this the uh, middle on this one and then flowers lots of flowers and just lots of prettiness so, yeah, isn't that pretty? I love this page. And this is the inside of the, you know, front cover. So that was the front. And then this was the back cover. And this was on the inside of the back cover. And this was on the outside of the back cover. And I kind of little bit had a little bit of a hard time deciding which way to put it, you know, because I could have done it the other way. But I, it says Daphne right here, so I thought that was cool to put on the outside, like, because this one has Daphne, Daphne's diary on the outside, so I decided it was cool to have Daphne on this one, too. And this one is really pretty on both sides, so you can see it's super pretty. And then the inside of this one, I have these pages so far, just out. Uh, for my Daphne's diary, I've only made I made one other one into journals, and uh, though with that one, I made traveler's notebooks. So this one I decided to do like this size, which I think is really cool because in the traveler's notebook size, I did have to cut some off. You know, I had a lot of cutoffs. This one I didn't cut. Well, I did cut, but just barely anything. I just cut like at the covers. I didn't cut at all. Inside pages, I cut a little tiny strip off the top, a little tiny strip off this, you know, this side. So really, I didn't cut anything off, but kind of like white space or whatever. So the pages aren't really missing anything. So that's what I did today. That was in day number one. So I might try to call, you know, if I get a lot done each day, or maybe I can show you what I get done each day this week. Uh, since I'll be here until, uh, you know, a week, <laughs> uh, it would be fun maybe to see if I run out of scraps or what, because I got all of this done in one day, and I have, uh, now Saturday I have, there was a death in my family, my uncle passed away, so I am going to his funeral on Saturday, and that might take most of Saturday. So today is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I have four more days that I have pretty much free. Um, I wanted to go to a flea market on Thursday and weather permitting, I will we'll go to that. But at this time of year, it's kind of small, so it might not take too long. Oh, let me show you one more thing. This awesome fabric my sister-in-law gave me last night when I got here she gave this to me she said she found it at Goodwill she's a big Goodwill person I mean she gets everything she tries to get all of her clothes and just all kinds of she finds all kinds of cool stuff anyway she found this awesome fabric and she gave it to me and it's Campbell soup it's a two-layered we were trying to figure out what it was you know I'll tell you a new word that my niece invented my niece was here, her, my sister-in-law's daughter, my uncle's, my brother's daughter. Anyway, of course, you know the relationship. Anyway, I don't know why I'm explaining that. Um, because she came up, she invented a word. 
but this is so cool and we were trying to figure out what it is because it's two layers of fabric sewn together like a pillowcase but there's no you can't get a pillow in here there's no opening so it's like the size of a pillowcase and so we're, my sister-in-law was like well maybe it's a lap napkin lap blanket or a lap napkin or maybe it was and and my sister my niece said yeah it was a lapkin <laughs> so she invented the word lapkin I thought that was pretty clever a lap blanket or a lap napkin like a cloth napkin so it's a lap not napkin aka lapkin <laughs> okay yeah we're crazy around here <laughs> But yeah, isn't that pretty? Look at that. So cool. I couldn't believe it when I saw it because I I have a collection of Campbell's soup mugs and they know that, I'm sure. They remembered that. And they knew, I think they knew I liked Campbell's soup things. So they got me this when they saw it and gave it to me last night. So I thought that was so cool. I just love it. So I will be doing things with this material. I told him this is a lot, really, a lot of fabrics, and this will this will last me for a long time. I could make a journal cover. I could make put this on a spine, you know. So I will be using this in my journals. So I can't wait to get home and do something with this. So anyway, I'll let y'all go tonight. I'm sure this video is too long already, and hopefully I'll be back later in the week, maybe tomorrow if I get some more crafting done that I can share. So everybody have a good night. I hope everybody's safe from Dorian. It's pretty much, um, they're pretty much said it's not coming here. We're inland in Florida, uh, in the middle. So it's, if it, we did get rain from it today, but not, that was it. Uh, and if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be closer to, you know, over on the, the east, right on the east coast and not over here in the middle. So, uh, we'll see you next time, and everyone have a great night, and happy crafting.